To use the countdown promotion pop-up, make sure you're in the forms area and in the promotions tab. Then just click create promotion. Give your promotion a name and click save and continue. Now choose the countdown pop-up by clicking select. And here we go. We can of course change the type of the pop-up so you can have it on the bottom right corner use additional settings to change it to the left side if needed. You can ha also have a very unintrusive bottom tab, bottom bar, or have the bar be on the top, like so. Let's go to the normal type. And here we have the design settings. You can change the background, of course. Click Save. Change the close button color, the cover color. Let's make it red and let's make the close button black. There we go. And of course, you can change all the specific colors and all the little elements here. And let's have a look at these elements. The first one is this header title text part. There is no header here, but if you want, you could do that. You can change the title, which is this purple part here, and the text, which is this text here. The countdown is pretty straightforward. Just choose a date where your event starts. For example, let's say the 26th. You can also choose a specific time if needed. And there we go. And you can also change the text under each number if you want. If you are using a different language, for example, you can just type in the name of the days uh, in your language in hours and minutes, seconds, etc. Then we have this little text here. If you want to change it, you can also add links to these parts of text. Insert a link, put the link here. And I like to always open in a new tab and insert. There we have a link and the button area. Now this time I can't really click it because these are buttons and at the same time it's an editor. So to edit this part, you don't click the block itself, but you click this little button over here. And here we go. Here's the first button, the primary button click action and the secondary click action. This time it's set up to redirect. So you can just put your URL here if someone clicks the first button. And if someone clicks the second button, which says no thanks, it will just close this pop up. Of course, you can change it to also redirect if you want and change instead of no thanks, you can do <laughs> no or whatever you wish, right? Then just click save. And the last part is right over here. And of course, you can hide these parts by clicking this little trash can or by just deleting this text here and it won't be seen. Same here, just delete it if you don't want that text. Here you can preview the pop-up. In this case, it will look almost exactly the same. When you're done, just click Save and click Next over here. Here are the settings we have in each pop-up wait for five seconds before showing the pop-up or you can have it show when someone is scrolling to a certain amount a certain part of your website here it's set to 50 percent if you want to use this or before the person closes the tab or moves the mouse to another tab of course this is unintrusive so the pop-up will not stop the person from closing the page frequency in this case i would do always show because this is a, a countdown so i want it to show all the time, not only once a month when the person is visiting the website. And a sp specific time, it's good to close the, the, the pop-up on a specific day. So we had the 23rd, I think, I don't remember. But let's say if it was the 23rd, the countdown goes to the 23rd, then we're also going to close it on the 23rd or maybe the 24th just in case. So this is a really cool set and forget feature. You don't have to remember about closing that pop-up. You know, like when your event finishes, people visit your website and then they see this countdown, which is zero, 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 zero. We don't want that. And that's what this feature is good for. And visibility, always show. You can hide on specific pages, only show on specific pages. In the case of a timer, I want it to show on every page. And I don't want to hide it on desktop, mobile devices, hide on tablets or whatever. Just leave it as it is and save and continue. Here is the little code you use on your website. If you have WordPress, you can use our plugin. Shopify, you can use our Shopify app. Otherwise, in every content management system, usually there is a place to put this code. Just talk with the company or with your developer. They should know how to help you with that. 
click Next once you're done with the code. This is the status of your pop-up. You can activate it here. You can change the design again, the behavior over here, and here's the code again. The good thing about this is you only need to have this once on your website. If you set it correctly, you're not going to need to put this code in every time you create a new pop-up. Show promotion on click event allows you to show this pop-up whenever someone clicks a link that you specify in an article or wherever. Just use the instructions here if you need that. Probably you're not going to be using this very much with the countdown timer, but it's here just in case you need it. And that's it. Once people start clicking your buttons, I mean the buttons on your countdown form, then you will start seeing the data coming through here, conversions, impressions, and conversion rate. That's all for the countdown timer. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again and see you in the next video.